Heather from Strings and Threads. Welcome and thank you so much for being here. Today is Wednesday and I've been calling Wednesdays Wearable Wednesday because back in January I thought I need to get better at making wearables. I stink at it. I can't. I've not made anything I've liked. And so I thought, you know, why not make a video about it every week and then people can laugh at all my mistakes. But it turns out that it's been really good because I've gotten a lot of great advice from you guys. And I have made some successful wearables and I've made some not successful wearables, but I've been learning along the way. And so for this project, I'm doing something even newer before I was crocheting them. And now I'm attempting my first knitted wearable. So fingers crossed, <laughs> this could moves a little bit slower than the crochet tops. Also joining me is Jess from J Hook Magic. So go check her out. I'll put her in my description. She's doing a wearable from Crystal from Hook That Yarn, and I'll link her down below too. Crystal has a way to make a top-down shirt that is the perfect fit no matter what your body type is. She has the measurements and she has all the mathematical formulations. So I'm anxious to see how Jess does with this because I'm a little bit intimidated. Yet I really, really want to try it because I've seen her wearing some of those tops and I've seen some of those tops that, that Crystal has made and they look so nice and I would love to have a top like that for myself. So I am anxious to finish this up now so I can move on to that. But one thing at a time, I just don't have time in my life for multiple of these kinds of projects. So here's the pattern I chose. I chose it because it's labeled easy. It's called Top Down Knit Pullover, and I'll put the link down below to it. It's a free pattern on Yarn Inspirations. I used this type of yarn, but I didn't use the same color. I couldn't find that colorway. So what I got was called Boho Floral. And here's how. There's a actually a, a pattern for a top on here. I'm going to save that. It's not going to be my next project, but I will save it. I've used this much of the first skein. And so here's what I've done. I marked where I was last week. Sorry, I'm not as comfortable holding my knitting stuff as I am my crocheted stuff. Here's where I was last week. I had gotten this much done. And then this week I moved all the way up to here. And like it says, it's worked top down. So it would go on like this. I'm in the middle of increasing it. I, I can't do it. Ugh. I'm just so awkward with this. The white would be on the top, <laughs> it would be on my neckline. <laughs> the first increase I did the way they suggested, and I don't know if it's like to make it look lacy, but I, it's down here in the brown. It made a lot of holes and I just, I really didn't like those holes because it's like holes, a few rows, holes, a few rows. So I did my increases a different way that doesn't produce ho holes on the second time that it increased. And I think I'm going to continue to do it that way because I don't want a shirt that just has random holes all over it. But I did look at the picture and they do have the holes in the picture. If you look carefully, I'll show it, but I doubt if it'll show up on the camera, the holes. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably not showing up. But so there's not, I mean, it's not a, it, it was a lot of work, but it's not a ton of show because that's the way knit goes. But I am excited to keep going on with this and see how it all works out. So short and sweet, thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody has a great day and I'll see you tomorrow for Things We're Making Thursday. Bye!